Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Backer Designs. I've got a fun treat box for you. I'm using the ice cream swirl bundle, but I'm not using the ice cream today. I'm using that cute little donut. I found these at Walmart, new chocolate frosted donut Kit Kats. Have you seen these? They're new. Kit Kat comes out with a new flavor like once a year. And I happen to see these just as I was starting to play with this stamp set. So don't think that your stamp always has to use the star stamp, right? You can always use all the little extras without even using the big stamp. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the box. This box is for the king size Kit Kats, the only size I've seen um, this Kit Kat in. I'm sure they'll come out with different sizes, but that's all I saw. Okay, let's start. We're going to use Sweet Sorbet. And I'm gonna try to get everything out of the way. I should have done this ahead of time, I apologize. All right, you're gonna start with six and a half by nine and a half sweet sor sorbet. By the way, sweet sorbet retires at the end of April. So make sure you've stocked up on your cardstock, your ink, your reinkers, your uh, uh, blends. Make sure you get it all before it's gone. All right, on the long side, we're gonna score at half an inch, four and a half, five, and nine. Turn it to the short side and score it at half an inch and six. Now those measurements are on a free PDF over on my blog. Don't feel like you have to scribble them down somewhere where you won't be able to find them. I know that's me. Um, but that free PDF, you can print it, save it to your computer. All right, now get your bone folder, burnish those lines. This is a real skinny box. The Kit Kat is only like three eighths of an inch thick. So the box is only half an inch thick. Okay, now it's um, the same on either side. So it doesn't matter which side that you go, that you start with. I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna cut off these squares, okay? Cut this one off. And notice I cut in just kind of at an angle over here on this side tab right here. See how I cut that at an angle? And then for these, we're just gonna snip, 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 and again, snip, snip, snip. All right, this is the perfect size for tear and tape. So I'm gonna get my tear and tape, put that down like that. Peel this off, all right, and then we're gonna fold it over, and you should be able to fold this over. Did I not burnish these? I guess I didn't. Fold that over like that, and it fits, and it makes your box. All right, now we're gonna adhere one end, and we're gonna leave the other end open, and we're gonna um, just use ribbon to close it. All right, tear and tape here. You can use uh, Stamp and Seal Plus. You can use liquid glue, which is usually my preference. But when a tab is this skinny, it's just asking for tear and tape. It's like perfect. All right, there we go. Now we've got our box made, okay? Let's put in our giant Kit Kat bar and fold in those sides, fold in the back, and then fold in the top. Um, we're going to leave it there for a second because we got to put the paper on it before we use the ribbon. This paper is the uh, Be Mine paper. It's the honeybee paper. It's kind of designed for Valentine's Day, but definitely not only Valentine's Day. I'm going to put that right there. All right, now let's take our ribbon and I am using, this is an online exclusive ribbon. You'll only find it online. Very vanilla and pecan pie. Okay, I think I'll give this to my daughter. She's gonna take the SAT next month. This would be fun. I'll have to change the sentiment, but that's easy. She loves the chocolate donuts and she loves Kit Kats. So this is perfect for her. All right, snip, snip. Okay, now I have cut out some things ahead of time. I've got a um, scalloped rectangle from the contour scallop dies, and we're gonna sandwich that ribbon in. Just gonna put dimensionals in the four corners. 
like that. And then I have cut out from Very Vanilla. And I chose to use Very Vanilla this time because our ribbon is Very Vanilla. The paper has white on it, so you could really go either way. I think the white is so small, it's minuscule, doesn't clash with the vanilla, but you know, you can decide what you wanna do. So this is from the new Everyday Details dies, and it's the one of the smaller rectangles. I don't think it's quite the smallest. I'm gonna stamp thanks and sweet sorbet. Now for my daughter, I would probably find something that say it that says, you got this, or congrats, no, not congrats, um, good luck. Those would work. Okay, now put that right there. Now for our donuts. You, again, I've got very vanilla, and you're gonna need to stamp your donut five times, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Memento black, because we're gonna use stamp and blends. I've got sweet sorbet, petal pink, crumb cake, and pecan pie. Believe it or not, I really struggled with what to color, how to color these donuts, what colors. Um, but I just went with the colors that I'm using in my paper. All right, now I'm not gonna do all, I've done a lot of this ahead of time, so I'm not gonna do it all right now, but I'm gonna show you. You wanna do two of them, sweet sorbet, and light, this is light sweet sorbet, and light, pecan pie okay I sat in front of the TV the other day and colored about 30 of these they're not hard just you know take some time all right now I'm gonna do the next one they all have pecan pie I'm gonna do pecan pie and petal pink Okay, so this time I kind of chose the different stripes. You know, I did the three, that one, this time I just did the two. So now I'm gonna take petal pink, dark, and color in this right here. And then last but not least, so do two like that, two like that, and then you'll have one left. And this one we're gonna do just pecan pie and crumb cake so pecan pie light and crumb cake light um my color choices the reason i went with the choices the sweet sorbet um and then the the crumb cake is because the kit kat bar itself is kind of those colors um the packaging so you could change it up to however whatever colors you want you know, the sky's the limit, but that's why I chose what I chose. I'm gonna run this through your cut and emboss machine six times, or five times with this die, okay? Now, for the sake of the video, I went ahead and did it. Um, one thing also that I want to show you that I did was take my Wink of Stella and colored in two of the stripes on each of the donuts, just to give it a little something extra. Sparkly donuts, why not? All right, dimensionals, of course. So I'll start with one up here, and I'm gonna kind of tuck it behind. And then I'll do one overlapping up here. Let's get this other one, this other sweet sorbet one, and tuck it in on the side. And then we'll get um, let's do this one, overlapping. See how I'm kind of varying so the stripes are going this way, stripes are going that way, so that they're not all exactly the same. And then we'll just put this one down mm, like that. Okay, now you can leave it like that if you want, but we've got some great sequins that coordinate really well. I'm gonna use these brown metallic sequins to just add some extra to our box. And that's it. Okay, now remember, go back to my blog. There's a free PDF over there. Why can't I pick that up? <laughs> There's a free PDF over there, um, measurement supplies, and it has two other 
ice cream swirl projects, one using the ice cream. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining me, everybody. Have fun stamping. Bye-bye.